In this video, we'll talk about Carl Kuzuma, about the game, and also about two things that could destroy the aspirations of the Lakers for a championship this year. Perspective Log, Lakers Fandom, with E.A. Crespo. Number one, inconsistency. Defensively, but mostly offensively. We need to create offense when LeBron James and Anthony Davis are not there. For that, we need to drive the ball into the paint. If we need to kick it out, we kick it out. But if we need to get inside and score easy buckets on the paint, we got to be able to do that. One of the guys who can do that, or should be doing that, is Kyle Kuzma. But Kyle Kuzma is not a setup play. He is a slasher most of the time. He can try to get into the paint, but that is not his forte. Kuzma works better if somebody sets up the play for him and he grabs the ball and drives into the uh, paint. My wife is gone so I can speak louder. We got somebody who can drive the ball and plays for himself and for others. But he's 19 and still not mature enough for the NBA. Taylor Horton Talker, THT. I have a video about him. I'll put the link in the description. Then we have the second problem and this one is a little bit more serious. Rebounding. We have Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis, Javel McGee, LeBron James, Danny Green, Avery Bradley, Kyle Kuzma. Between those guards and the front line, we should be dominating all the rebounds, but we aren't, and that is a problem. There are 14 teams that are better rebounding in this season than us. That's a big problem. By the way, the Nets are number two, which we face today. If we don't fix that problem now, in the playoffs, that is gonna put us in harm's way because rebounding in the playoffs and in the finals is vital. Let's discuss Kyle Kuzma. Let's take Kuzma and Derrick Rose. These are the two payroll lists, the Lakers and the Pistons. These lists are from the top salaries to the less paid. You can see Kuzma on the orange stripe, and he is number 15 from top to bottom. On the Pistons list, Derrick Rose is number 6. Kuzma is just getting paid a little bit over David Stockton, who is in the G League. And while Kyle Kuzma earns a little less than two million, Rose earns a little over seven. As an example, the Blue Stripe players would have to be included in the package just to get Rose. In this particular rumor, Marcus Morris have been mentioned as a possibility to include in a package. Now we need a bigger package or a more expensive player to match the contracts. In a two for two swap, we would have to send Danny Green to the Pistons. But my question is, why we are demanding that the guy that gets paid less, barely on top of the G-Leaker salary, 
become our third star. Kuz is actually the last in the active roster, if you discount the G-Leaguers. But we demand from him to score 20 points per game. Then why we want to trade him? Enough of that, now to the game. In the first stats, we are better except for rebounds. Here, both teams suck at free throw shooting, but we are way better shooting the three. And we dominate in assists, steals, and blocks per game. Many YouTubers are predicting that this will be a victory for the Lakers. Now, I'm worried about the rebounds. That can cost us the game. Hopefully, I'm wrong about that. AI Crespo signing off for Lakers fandom. Enjoy the game.